another girl fight video that's gone viral. Yeah, this one's very upsetting. It's from Brooklyn, and it appears to show an unprovoked attack on an innocent the woman. Video shows and as Fox 5's Dan Bowens tells us, the video... Rest and fights inside the Mesquite Mall tonight. We're getting, children getting children. a better idea of what happened at Town East Mall early this morning. YouTube video showed it all. You can see people shocking. throwing wreaths and trash cans at each other as several Detroit fights broke out. As they're chased by police. This morning, the crowd control was needed at a Houston chaos. area mall. Now, hundreds of people were lined up to secure their purchase of the new Air Jordans, and some of them... Eric Holder should be in prison. He's, He's got Russell Simmons, Kim Kardashian, Lil Wayne. You know why nobody pays attention, Quanell? Because those people, no one's going to listen to them. Will we ever rise as a people? Or are we on our way out? Since 1865, we have experienced little to no change collectively. Sure, we have a few that have made it to the top. Well, that's what they thought. But most go to the grave. Broke, busted, and disgusted. Passing on nothing to the next generation. They do pass on something that's gone before you know it. I ain't really talking about superficial wealth like paper money. I'm talking about stuff with real value. You know, land and gold, silver, real estate. Stuff with real value, you see. I think we've been tricked. Everybody else gets damn near a whole pie. Well, we all have to share one slice. And we fighting over that. Something just don't seem right. Even our brightest and best get to shake down. I've never seen a group of people like my people who seem to be running on the track. But the path gets longer, rougher, and harder to run on. I feel like we've been climbing a mountain with ice boots on for a long time now, but this mountain is fighting against us. and getting more steep and taller with each step. When I look around, I see the hopelessness in the eyes of my people everywhere. The hopelessness turns into rage sometimes, even madness. Heavenly Father, where are you? The Lord shall smite thee with madness, and blindness, and astonishment of heart. And thou shalt grope at noonday, as the blind gropeth in darkness. And thou shalt not prosper in thy ways, and thou shalt be oppressed and spoiled evermore, and no man shall save thee. It seems like our problems are piling one on top of another and no real change in sight. When we think the change is coming, it gets further and further away from us. From day to day, we seem to be wandering around in wonderland, not knowing what's real and what's illusion. When some of us choose to exit the matrix, we are met with resistance by those who enjoy their delusion. We have a real enemy that is constantly fighting us in a desperate attempt to utterly destroy us. But we so blinded by lies that our minds even pity our own enemies. The tripped out thing about it is that we've turned the fight on one another. And the fight is in full swing. All my life I had to fight. I had to fight my bosses. I had to fight my enemies. I had to fight this system. But I ain't never thought I had to fight amongst my own people. I loves my people. Yah knows I do. But I'll walk away before I let them keep me down. What will our end be if we continue down this path? 